Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 21 Freeze Casemiro Player Review. So for this review, I used Casemiro as my right centre back in the 4 triple 2 formation and used him with the shadow chemistry style. All in-game footage has been recorded in Division 1, so I faced up against some of the best opponents. So let's see how Casemiro performed for me in-game. So Casemiro has the low high work rates which is actually ideal for a centre back in this game because with those work rates he would ideally maintain his position defensively and for me he really did because his defensive positioning was amazing. He has some phenomenal in-game defensive stats and with the shadow chem style when boosted further his stats become monstrous and end game at this point. With the shadow chem style, this guy has 99 interceptions, 89 heading accuracy, 93 defensive awareness, 99 stand tackle and 99 slide tackle. And this card already looks like a team of the season card at this early stage of the game with those stats. And he did live up to his stats defensively in terms of his clean stand and slide tackles. He was a powerhouse in the air with the 88 jumping stat. He also is very aggressive and you could see the 92 aggression come into play when he was pressing opponents. So overall, defensively, this guy was one of the best players that I've used this year without a shadow of a doubt. He also comes with a 91 stamina, so this guy is an absolute engine on the pitch and should last you 120 minutes effortlessly. Although he does have the 3-star weak foot, his passing on both feet for me was superb. He has 85 short and long passing and don't be scared to distribute play from the back with this guy because his passing is super precise and wasn't a problem for me at all. So Casemiro has amazing sprint speed stats for a centre back at 83 but the thing that slows this card down is his 72 acceleration which makes him take a long time to get off the blocks quickly. Now if a forward with 90 plus pace has a lead over Casemiro, that acceleration really comes into play because it doesn't aid Casemiro because the forward will extend his lead and be through onto goal and I did concede a goal like this in the video for you to see. Even with the shadow chem style, if Casemiro was trailing a forward, he couldn't catch up. But honestly, his pace overall as a centre-back, if the forwards were on rushing onto him, was absolutely great because from that position, he was able to catch most forwards in-game effortlessly. Although Casemiro has the combination of 62 agility and 67 balance, he didn't feel terrible on the ball while dribbling and jockeying with him. He felt pretty decent to be completely fair. And I wouldn't use this card to sprint to the other end of the pitch. I would just intercept, pass it off and that's how to use this card optimally in my opinion. Now the meta in this game is breaking with forwards with ridiculously high sprint speed. And this is why if you still ask me to pick between Casemiro and Varane, I would choose Varane. And yes, I'm sad to say this because Casemiro trumps Varane in every other aspect barring sprint speed. But just because he feels a bit slow compared to Varane, don't be scared to try this card because for me, he is still a monster of a defender in-game. So I'm going to rate Freeze Casemiro an 8.6 on 10 because he is a monster of a centre back in game and yes he is foot champs ready so don't be scared to pick this card up and give him a try. I'm also going to give him a value for coins of a 7 because his price right now is ludicrous. It's 500k plus for a defender and at this stage with the market crashing you can get defenders who would do a similar job for a fraction of a cost. I hope this review was helpful for you guys and if it is, please drop a sub on the channel and a like on the video, it would mean the world to me and have a great, great day ahead guys.